channel and today I have a story to tell, a very interesting story and as you could have read in the description box, this video is about how God told me to leave my boyfriend. It sounds crazy, it sounds science fictional, but it's true, it's very true, so keep watching and yeah, first of all this video is not to bash anyone, it's not to bash my ex or bash people around me, but I truly believe that um, what I have experienced could really be a lesson for someone else, a young Christian lady who's in a relationship, maybe is seeking for a relationship, seeking for marriage. And I truly believe that this video, this story, this testimony, which I believe it is, could really help someone. So keep watching and be encouraged. We've been together for some time. Is there no feeling for me? So, yeah. Where do I even start? Um, at the beginning. <laughs> So last year, somewhere last year, I met this guy and we actually met in church. We met in church and I'll spare you. I won't go into a lot of details, but I'll give you like the global line because it's stories. Otherwise it would be a movie. It's way too long. But we met in church and after that we were just talking on Facebook, you know, just talking. I just saw him in church. He saw me. I think he sent me a friend request. I accepted because obviously I saw him in church and I was like, oh, how did you like the service? And he's like, wow, it was amazing. Blah, 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 blah. And going on from there, we started talking, you know? And I remember like it was getting near to my birthday. We were talking, we were talking. And he asked me if I was doing something on my birthday, me being the boring person that I am, obviously. I didn't want to do anything for my birthday so he was like okay well if you're not doing anything for your birthday I would like to take you out for dinner so I said yes which thinking back is very strange because I'm kind of reserved I'm a very close closed person um, and you know when I get to know someone I open up and I be I'm all over the place but um, I'm quite reserved and I'm quite shy quite close so for me saying yes looking back was just the weirdest thing ever but uh, I said yes and on my birthday that was on the 7th of March 2015 we went on a date and that was actually my first date ever so it was kind of you know exciting kind of spun at the same time and yeah so we went out for dinner he took me out for dinner which was the sweetest thing ever we ate we had a good time we talked and you know from there it was like okay you know we started seeing each other more um going on more dates getting to know each other more and it came at a point where things kind of got serious and so we were officially seeing each other, dating each other, courting each other, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, we were seeing each other as boyfriend and girlfriend. And me being a Christian, I just don't, I don't date for the sake of dating or, you know, court for the sake of courting. There has to be an end goal and that end goal is marriage otherwise, you know what's the point of dating when um the end goal isn't eventually getting to know someone enough and eventually getting married so um yeah so we were in a relationship and he was a christian he's a christian i'm a christian um i believe that he's called for the ministry and hopefully one day you know I will be in ministry and yeah so we being both being Christians um, you know God obviously needed to be the center of our relationship you know otherwise it wouldn't work so we were like before ever really going deep in the relationship you know we're like we're gonna pray we're gonna take a period of time and pray and fast together and to really see if this is the will of God and you know if God is in this and you know, as I said, we don't just date for the sake of dating. And so we took a time of prayer and fasting together to really seek the counsel of God, you know, if this is the will of God. And I'm 
must say after that period of seeking God's counsel, praying and fasting, I really got an assurance like God was okay with this, you know? You know, maybe God didn't speak, I didn't hear the audible voice of God, but I had the assurance that God was in this, you know, that peace. You know, you sometimes you just feel that peace, that inner peace, inner joy that God is okay with this. So, yeah, we continued praying, fasting, um, seeking God, going on more dates, having fun, getting to know each other better. And, you know, yeah, it was just having a good time. Two people um, trying to grow together in Christ. And things were nice things were beautiful god was the center of everything and i honestly thought you know this is the man i'm going to marry one day maybe not now but one day so that's what we're working towards i mean you know it was so surreal because you know a lot of times we have this image of oh you have to date that person then that person, then that person, and the idea that God would really just, you know, at once bring someone in my life that would be my lifetime partner, that would be my soulmate. Just thinking about it was so surreal. And sometimes I'm like, I was like, you know, pinching myself, like, is this really happening to me? And has God orchestrated my love life this beautifully? It was just crazy. And even the fact that someone could care so much about me and love love me so much even made my relationship with God even it even made it stronger. Why? Because if a human being, if a person can love me so much, how much more could God, my heavenly father, love me? And it was all just just so surreal and I was like on cloud nine and it was crazy. It was a beautiful time. But I must say in all of this, um, I was also doubting a lot. I was like, let me say I'm a very, as I said, a reserved person and very close and I don't really open up very fast. Um, so that was something of course that I had to learn because I was in a relationship, you know, I couldn't keep everything to myself anymore. So, um, but I've always been a very doubtful person that's not really a good thing but god you know i'm working process god is working on me um and i'm very indecisive so that doubtful nature i guess i don't want to call it a nature because i know god is delivering me from it but i was very doubtful and i've always been that way but i didn't think too much of it because i've always been doubtful and it wasn't a surprise for me that i would be doubtful in my relationship so um you know, I really liked him, you know, I really saw a future in our relationship, but somewhere deep down in my heart, I had doubts. I was like, okay, God, as I said, it was too good to be true. It almost felt as if it was too good to be true. And, um, you know, I was like, things are going very fast. You know, we became friends very fast. We went in a relationship very fast. So somewhere in my heart, I was like, God, you know, is this him? Is this the one you really want me to marry? Although I, you know, I prayed and I talked to God and I felt at peace, but somewhere I was so doubtful, like so doubtful. But um, yeah, I would just suppress that feeling. I was like a feeling, you know, girl, girl just leave it so um yeah so now we're one month two months three months four months five months six months further in the relationship and as time was going on my doubts were growing more and more and more and it wasn't because of anything he had done anything he had said it was just something from the inside you know when the holy spirit is talking to you that conviction yes that was it somewhere in my mind i was so doubtful and one day i don't know what happened i was supposed to go to school but i woke up and i was like no the, the doubts just were taking over my mind i thought i was going crazy it sounds yeah it was just too much like the doubts were just taking over and i woke up that day and i was supposed to go to school i was like no and i called my 
I called my boyfriend and I was like, we need to talk. And he lives like almost two hours away from my house, from where I live in a different city. So I was like, we need to talk. And he's like, yeah, um, okay, what time? Because I need to go to church. I have to set up some things in church. And I was like, okay, you know, if you can, don't worry. And he's like, no, 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 come. Okay, so he arranged some things to make time and I went and we went somewhere to sit and I just poured out my heart I was like I'm so doubtful and you know um I'm just so doubtful and you know it's not anything you have done but I just really need time to pray I need time to seek God about this because this is not going <laughs> this is not really going as it's supposed to be and it was just overtaking me it was so hard even for me to go there but i went there and i talked to him and i explained you know i gave him my reasons and stuff that i was just very doubtful and fearful and he was like okay you know he understood and he's like okay of course he wasn't happy with it but he was like okay i understand you know you just take your time and pray to god and you know see god and whatever comes out of it you have my number you know you know where to find me so call me and so i took time um to really pray to god to see god and it was just such an awful awful time because somewhere you know i'm doubting i'm like is this from god but somewhere you have you're emotionally collect connected to that person you know there's a bond there are emotions there are feelings there is love, there is so much, and it's very hard to be objective in a situations where you're emotionally connected to someone and make a good judgment, you know, and be like um, neutral about it because, oh man, I love this guy so much. I love him so much. <laughs> so, 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 um, yeah, in that time, I was just taking my time, you know, to really be sure, and I was like, God, you need to speak like God. You need to do something. God, do something, oh, because your daughter, she will faint. She will faint. She will die. So, um, yeah, I was expecting God to really speak, you know, to hear that voice. My daughter, he's not the one for you. Or my daughter, he's the one. But I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And that voice just didn't come. It didn't come. And, um. So I think we were a few weeks further and, and you know, we, we, we were talking and stuff and he's like, okay, have you made a decision? And you know, um, I was like, uh, no. And then one day, this one day, um, God decided to speak, you know, God speaks in different ways. I won't go in details in which way God spoke, but God spoke clearly and um it came down to this that god really didn't want me in that relationship not because he was a bad guy not at all not at all not at all not because he has done me wrong or he would do me wrong but it simply came down to this that it wasn't the right time it wasn't the right season and this is a season where god really wanted me to be close to him god is just so jealous about me and um, you know, he just wanted me for himself. And now I, you know, I totally understand. I was in a period of life where I didn't really know what to do with my life. I didn't really know which way to go. Like school, I was like, is this, is this law school thing really for me? Um, like my vision was so blurred, you know, I didn't really know what I wanted in life. And if I... If I don't know what I want in life and I get into a relationship or in a marriage, you know, I believe one of the most important things to have when going into a relationship is that both male and female should have a vision for their lives. And he clearly had an amazing vision for his life. He knew, he knew where he was going. He knew what he wanted to accomplish. He knew, you know, he, his vision was clear and somewhere I can I could find myself in this vision but you know if I would have stayed in this relationship I think I would be more dragged into his vision and going along into his vision which is nothing is wrong with 
but I believe that God somewhere had a different vision for me or somehow wanted me to accomplish things on my own first, reach a certain level, a certain, certain dynamics in our relationship, you know, a relationship between me and Christ, me and the Holy Spirit before ever, ever giving myself away to someone else. So, um, and I clearly didn't have that vision. I clearly didn't have a clear picture of where I was going at that time in my life. And that relationship would only be stressful and, you know, just mess me up, mess me up. No matter how good the guy was, because he was an amazing guy, he still is an amazing guy. I didn't have a clear vision and that's very dangerous. And this man of God that I know once said, you know, doing the right thing at the right at the wrong time doing the right thing at the wrong time is still wrong so maybe i was doing the right thing you know being in a godly relationship where god is the center but it was just the wrong timing and therefore it made everything wrong um so yeah so um after hearing from god i took a bold step to be obedient to God you know obedience is better than sacrifice so I obeyed God and I broke up with my boyfriend which was very painful I think I don't think I've ever experienced something so painful in my life it was so hard and I cried so much I cried literally I cried for weeks like I cried so much at a certain point I was like Do, how much tears can a human being produce like it was so hard and now I can smile and just talk about it. But it was really a process where God really needed to heal my heart because I suffered from heartbrokenness, like severe heartbrokenness, severe. You know, as I said, I'm not a very open person. And when I open up to someone, I really open up. And when I love someone, I love you with everything that is within me. So... Um, it was very hard, you know, it was very hard knowing someone for months, having a vision, having a goal and just in one day, like cutting it off. And I just cut it off completely because, you know, I didn't want to live in, if there's one thing I don't want to do is live in disobedience is not live according to the will of God. You know, God is everything to me. And if God says something, I simply have to obey. So that's what I did. And it was so hard. It was so hard. I think I'm now 22 in my 22 years of living. This was probably one of the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And you know, um, <laughs> it was so hard. It was so hard, but God is a restorer. You know, the Holy Spirit is a comforter. So, yeah, now I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm very good. I'm content. And, you know, I'm loving on Jesus. And I think this is one of the most beautiful seasons in my life where, you know, I'm single. And, I'm, you know, it's the best time to serve God. It's the best time to build your relationship with God, to build yourself up as a future wife, as a future mother, to soak everything in there that there is to soak so that i can be one day i can be doing the right thing in the right time in god's time in the kairos time you know so yeah um and why is the reason why i'm sharing this because a lot of a lot of times you hear you know relationships where oh the guy wasn't good you know the guy wasn't godly he was in the world and i've honestly I've never heard something like this having like the perfect guy if i can call it the perfect guy a god-fearing guy a christian guy you know someone that is ambitious about life has goals has plans you know is making something out of life um who's called by god who the hand of god is obviously on and you know having a relationship that is christ-centered i mean and God still being able to say, I don't want you in this relationship. That's madness, actually. That's mad. That's mad. That's so mad. Um, you never really hear, hear those things. And I'm here to tell you that it's possible, you know. <laughs> you can be in a God-centered relationship with a God-fearing man. Uh, man. 
and still not be in the will of God, still not be in the perfect will of God. I might have been in a permissive will of God, but not in the perfect will of God. So, yeah, I'm here to encourage somebody. Maybe you are going through the same thing. Maybe you are in that situation. Uh, maybe, you know, you're in a relationship and you're doubting and you're feeling those things. Don't, you know, put those feelings under a rug. Um, follow your heart. I mean, the Holy Spirit is within us. He convicts us. He's always convicting us. He's always convicting us. Sometimes we say, the world would say it's intuition. It's not intuition. It's the Holy Spirit speaking to you, you know. And maybe you're in a relationship, but you fear because I, at some point I feared, I was like, I've come too far in this relationship to like break it off. Like, what kind of human are you? You know, uh, I felt like I can't break this up. I've been in this relationship for too much. Like, you might think, what would people say? I didn't really have an issue with that, what people would say, because not a lot of people even knew. But, um... Yeah, maybe you're like, what will people say? Oh, she broke up with him or this and that, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's never too late. If uh, you might be getting married and you're walking down the aisle and you feel that that's not the man for you, cut it off. I'm telling you, cut it off. I mean, it's better to, to cry now for six months than get married and, you know, just be miserable for the rest of your life and and get into divorce i mean god god hates divorce the book of mika says god hates divorce i hate divorce i would never want to divorce and what if i would not obey god and be in this relationship and things would end up horrible and my life would be horrible and why because i was disobedient to god you know so listen to your heart listen to the holy spirit um you know be wise be wise be wise so guys this was my video if you have any questions concerning this subject maybe you want to know more um uh yeah if you were blessed by it encouraged by it if it brought comfort to your soul let me know what you thought about it if you want to see more of these videos these experience you can comment them in the comment section below as usual pm me dm me facebook me instagram me snapchat me everything will be down below and don't forget to like to share and subscribe and see you in my next video bye god bless you only thing that takes over your heart the scars from your past are why it makes it so it makes it so hard. It's too hard.